Greetings and welcome to Coke. Greetings and welcome to Code Cookie. And today we're going to be looking at working with folders in Google Drive API. Right? So please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, reach out to me in the comments, you know, as I work on getting my GCP data cert, big data certifications. I love to assist you all at whatever personal and whatever business projects that you have in dealing with um, Google Cloud because Google Cloud Platform can be difficult even though everything seems to be made available to you. It is not so. There's an intended way of using stuff with Google. I'm not to edit that with three zeros, three O's, but, they, but I'll definitely love to help out feel free to reach out to me in the comments below. All right, and so, all right, let's get started. So when we're doing with folders in Google Drive, it Google Drive is like the Linux file system. Everything is a file, including folders. And just a bit of an overview, folders, they're, they're, they're in folders, these folders are files, but what they really are, they're just more than a, a path. They just contain metadata to organize your files. So if there's a path in the UI in Google Drive, what's actually happening is that there's just a singular folder with a bunch of IDs, and we're gonna take a look at that later. So let's go get started with this lab. Before I wanted to uh, get started with this lab, I just wanna give out a shout out to Angular, this is how we're gonna be going about with this lab. And Angular is the modern web development framework. It should have been the web framework in the past. We just didn't have it like we have it now. And it's going to be the web framework of the future projects, big or small, you can get with done with Angular. You can scale with Angular. React is on its way down and Angular is on its way up. Also, Angular is another Google, is another Google um, project as well as working with Google Cloud Platform, so it makes sense to work with those in tandem. All right, so now with the introduction, let us get to the lab. So first, what we wanna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and download the web application at this site. We wanna go ahead and download this web application at this site, and we wanna do, and after it like so, we wanna do is go ahead and run MPX ng serve. You want to head over to the root of this application. I'm in the root of my application and then we run this command as you see here. And then it shouldn't, and then you let the application build so it could serve up the web application where we're going to be working in today. It shouldn't take a while. All right, and there it goes, rendered and ready to go. So let us head over to our app and we see we have the drive access page folder modification and sign and sign out refresh the app and the first thing we want to go ahead and do is set up our credentials in order to access to other to access our account in google cloud platform as well as access the sdk that we'll be working with right so what we're going to go ahead and do is place that our paste our credentials add our credentials give ourselves access Right, and now we'll, after that, what we want to go ahead and do is you want to head over to console.developers.google.com. And after we go to our credentials, and then we want to create our credentials, API key, OAuth client ID, those are the credentials you want to wait. It, create, after we create, we want to edit our API key. We just want to restrict the key, okay? And then we restrict it only to the Google Drive API. So if someone comes across your project, right? They won't use expensive APIs such as AutoML, the only stuff to Google Drive that you still want to key on that, you still want things to be secure. After that, you want to use OAuth 2.0 client IDs, right? You want to create one because this is a and use your application. This app is for connecting to the drive of the end user, not our own drive. In a separate video, I could show how we can use server side to go ahead and set your service accounts, probably even on the browser, to connect to our own drive for our own applications instead. 
Now back to client OAuth 2.0. For OAuth 2.0, you want to make sure you strike the URL. If you're using a different local host, if your application's on another local host for web applications, want to paste out the local host URL here. If it's for a domain, if this is production, you want to paste the domain here, the TLD, the TLD. Maybe subdomains, but not the subdirectories and the pass and parameters. And after that, you go ahead and click save. It's going to take for some time to update because this is a domain worldwide. Obviously, if you um DNS lookup, that's a worldwide thing. But after five minutes, we should be ready to go. So next one we want to go ahead and do is we want to go back to our folders directive. And what we want to do is we want to load up the SDK, the browser SDK with this code. Let's go ahead and do that now. All right. At, so at this point, we have access to the SDK, especially the drive SDK that we need, not the whole SDK. We don't want the whole SDK. We only want the drive. That's why this, that's what that discoveries docs is for. And the sculpts is the permission for what the app has to do. All right, so now what we're going to go ahead and do is you want to create a folder. So first, we want to go ahead and change our environment and create a folder. So we're just going to copy this object and property of an object and paste here like so. Now we're ready to go ahead and create. And to create a folder, we want to do go ahead, copy, paste this code right here and paste like so and just remember an attachment to the instructional I'll leave in the video description. Right, so now we're ready to create. Now we are ready to create a folder. We can go ahead and do is observe. You just want to pay attention that anytime you want to create a folder in Google Drive, you always want to give the mind type application slash dnd dot google dash apps dot folder. Right, it's a mouthful to remember, but copy and paste that's what always survives. Copy and paste, and just remember that you give it the name of my folder. We're in our current Google Drive, and we see we have folder one and folder two. We click folder modification. We go ahead, we get HTTP response of 200. That means we see it updated like so. Great, and that's how you could go ahead, create a folder in Google Drive. Now say, for example, we want to move items around. This goes for folders and files, right? Because everything is a file. Say in folder in folder one, we have multipart.json and we want it to move, we want to move it to empty folder number two, right? We can go ahead and well, that is available to us, and we can see how we do that. Let's go ahead and update our environment again, allow for moving files, right? We replace the object like so. And now what we want to go ahead and do is you want to copy this code here, move, move our files. We want to go ahead, move our files as needed, right? As you can see there, always need that authorization token when we're using our own code to send on to send REST API calls to the drive API. Now, what we want to go ahead and do is that we realize when you're dealing with folders and you're doing any other operation except for creating items in Google Drive, you're going to need IDs to get things to work. IDs can be uniquely identify any resource in Google Drive. So say if you have folders and they are the same name, right? If I change, if I make a new folder and I name it folder one, all right, they're the same folder, they have they have the same name, but in the background, they are going to have different IDs. I would like to display that, but that will need a bit of editing on my part. It's, that, it's rather quick, but I don't want to get into, I don't want to throw you off, guys, off track. I just want to keep on the track on how to move items between folders. So we're going to go ahead and remove it. And then another thing too, included in here is when we're going to list out all the folders. And I want to throw this away because when we list folders, it's going to include all folders in the trash. So now we have, our, we have an object to retrieve our folders. Now we want to go ahead and get all the folders in the drive. All right. 
and let us go ahead. Let's just go ahead and see what that looks like. Want to take a look at what happened? I said I wasn't. I didn't want to show you what it would look like, but you know, I think I'm gonna just go ahead and go for it. It shouldn't be too problematic. Actually, use the REST API in order to create a folder, but that's okay, right? So now we're gonna go ahead and do a quick folder modification, right? We look at a response because we went in, right? And then we're gonna go in our response, right? This was a GET request. GET request are for only websites sometimes. And we can see here, we have the same main folder one, but we have different IDs. And if you look clearly, S is the last character, underscore is the last character, right? So we have different IDs. Right, so even so, you can allow for your application, even though it's not useful. You really want your end users to have different names. You can allow for the application to go ahead like so, and have the same name, same file name, same folder name, and Google will know how to differentiate them. Right, so what I want to go ahead and do to continue with this demo is make sure I'm working with the right folder one. I should use folder two, so I don't have to worry about deleting the wrong folder. That's okay. I want to go ahead and delete this. I want to send to the trash. I'm just going to go ahead and empty out the trash. Delete forever. And now we want to go ahead and do is move our folder, our file in this folder, folder one, to folder number two. How we're going to go about doing that is that first we're going to go ahead and gather the IDs like I indicated as I've indicated before. Right, so I'm going to move this this target right, from folder number one, which I indicated as A, to folder number two, which I indicated as B. And now let's go ahead and do it like so. And what we're going to use is a patch request. If you haven't heard of the HTTP patch request, this method, HTTP method, is used when you want to update a resource on the target server. This target is Google Cloud, and we want to update a resource, right? So when I talked about folders and files, how it works is that metadata contains, organizes the files, right? So there's metadata on the folder, and then there's metadata on the file. So if you want to determine the parent of a file, the parent directory of a file, you wouldn't look at its path. There will be metadata that will indicate to you the parent, which is a folder. How you can see that is by that ID. That's why when we went ahead and made that folder modification, um, when we went ahead and to move any to move anything you need IDs. These are the IDs indicated here, and you can see in the body response it uses IDs again. So as you can see, we made that patch request. Go ahead and change the folders from folder number one to folder number two. Although I think I switched it up, right? Folder number one is A, and okay, I got it right. So now. If you go into folder number two, we see our file. And if you leave folder number one, we see that it is empty. So one more little trick. Say for example, you wanted your file to be in top level directory because the top level directory doesn't have an ID. What we go ahead and do is we need to remove the folder. Uh, we need to remove the parent folder, but for add parents, all you do is an empty string, right? So we go ahead, we go ahead, the app reloads itself. I mean, you know the app is reloading yourself when the console is clear, right? So we get a 200, the status 200, and now our file is in TLD and it's outside of the folders, right? So that is our quick lab. Very, very fundamental, but very informative about how to deal with folders in Google Drive API. So thank you again for watching the 
instructional will be in the video description in the link. Please like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, reach out to me in the comments if you have any issues or if you need any support in dealing with Google Cloud Platform. I'd love to help out. The best big way we can deal with Google Cloud is together. So thank you for watching. Please, please like, please like, share, and subscribe.